hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for stopping by on today's video i'm going to be showing you how to make your peplum stand out using a crinoline as you can see it's very very beautiful and it's also easy to make so right before we get into the video if you are not subscribed to my channel already please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload a new video so this is what i achieved using a crinoline and i'm going to be showing you how to do this it's very easy and also very gorgeous so let's go over to the work table so i'm going to be using this peplum this fabric as you can see i have already cut it out in case you don't know how to cut a peplum a video on how i made this is coming up soon on my channel so i also cut out an interfacing popularly known as gum stay for this project and i already attached it to the peplum part of the ankara as you can see so i'm going to be using this crinoline this crinoline is about three inches wide there are some that are smaller than this and there are others that are still bigger than this depending on your preference you can go with ev whichever one you want so crinoline also come in different colors so in case you are using a fabric that is transparent you would want to go with a color that matches so i'm also going to use a uh, hemming gum for this project it's actually optional but it's very good it helps to keep your crinoline and fabric in place so i also cut out a lining for this project and the lining is exactly the same size and shape with the ankara fabric you have seen here so what i want to do now is to outline the ankara the lining piece on the ankara fabric like this so i'm going to put the two of them together so I'm going to gently align both the Ankara and the lining piece. You're going to make sure that you place your lining on the front part of the Ankara. And I'm going to pin it round. So I would recommend that you also pin your crinoline to the Ankara and the lining piece together because it makes your work easier. So I've already pinned this out and i'm just showing you that i've pinned it from the inside i've pinned it together it makes your work very easy when you take it to the sewing machine your lining doesn't shift and it's very easy to work on that's why i strictly recommend that you also pin your crinoline to the fabric so what i did to the crinoline was i used um bias tape to finish up the raw edge so that it doesn't fray and at the same time it doesn't stop because this thing is actually hard it can be very uncomfortable so what i did next was to place the crinoline on my the lining side of my fabric like this and i put the hemming gum on it so you want to first of all put the crinoline and then you put the hemming gum on it just like this and after that i'm going to start stitching on a half an inch seam allowance don't forget to back stitch at the beginning of your stitch so like i said before <clears throat> i recommend that you pin your crinoline to the fabric before taking it to the sewing machine it makes your work easier so i'm just stitching on a half an inch seam allowance i'm going to do this remember not to pull the crinoline you're not supposed to pull it if you pull it you won't get the fullness you are actually looking for so don't pull it so i'm going to stitch all the way to the end of the fabric as you can see it's already curving and wavy so i'm going to stitch to the end so when i get to the end i'm going to back stitch and now i've finished stitching i'm going to top stitch on the lining part of this peplum so what you want to do is to move your seam allowance to the lining part 
you move your seam allowance and the crinoline to the lining part and then you top stitch on the lining please make sure you top stitch on the lining and not on your main fabric okay so that's what i'm just doing So make sure you pull the seam allowance underneath towards the lining side of your fabric okay so pull everything back to the lining side and when I was done doing that I ironed it out and this is the finished look of the peplum I haven't attached it to the main top yet as you can clearly see but I'm going to do that and maybe in my next video I'm going to show you the full top that I made out I made with this so if this video has been helpful to you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos for those of you that are subscribed I am so grateful and I appreciate you thank you so much and don't forget to share my video so I'm just showing you by the time I attach it to the dress I mean the top and pleat it it's going to be wavy like this so when I pleat it it's going to be wavy like this at the hem of the top so that is just it on how to make your peplum stand out with a crinoline and an interfacing if you want so this is what it looks like from the inside and from the outside is what it looks like it's very very easy and I would like to see you try this out okay so this is it and thank you so much for watching this video until I see you in my next video don't forget to keep being creative and stay positive I love you bye